Hey friends, what's going on? It's V from V Love and Tarot. Today's pick a card reading is on what makes you attractive, what makes you hot, what makes you so eye-catching. So um, I have, I'm gonna have three piles for you. Let's figure out which one we can go with. Let's see what colors wanna come out. So if you're new, please subscribe. If not, thank you for always coming back and joining me. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future uploads. I like to post every day or every other day. Pile number one, what is your, your color? You have lemon. Pile number two, what is your color? Pile number two, what makes you so attractive? You have the chocolate cupcake here. And pile three, what makes you so attractive? What's your topper? You have mineral. So you have three different types of colors here. So uh, I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see better. Lemon, chocolate cupcake, and this blue scene here. Which one really um, feels like it would be for you? Use your intuition always. And if you need more time, pause the video, meditate a little bit. And if you're ready to choose, I do have the timestamps below so you can skip ahead. Welcome in that energy. Come on, let's work over then. All right. All right, we're going to start with you, pile number one, for lemon. Uh, what makes you so attractive? Why are people so, like, addicted to you? Or just why can't they get you out of their minds? What makes you so hot and alluring? All right, pile number one, thank you for being here. You chose lemon. Ooh, I can't wait to dive into these. I love, I love, I love it. I love figuring out what makes people stand out from the crowd. So um, if you're new, please subscribe. And all the decks that I'm using are always linked below. I have many pick of cards and I do personal readings. Check out all my information in my description box. Pot number one, what makes you so attractive? What makes you so attractive? Pot number one, manifestation. Recuperation. Scarlet. Ooh, passion, danger, excitement. Staycation. Last card. High energy, excitement again, and determination. That's really interesting. So I I'm getting a, a little rhythm here, a little, um, um, what's it called? A little sequence here so your person sees you as someone who's very intense like when you're passionate you go like you you you're you're you become very like hard to handle like hot hot tamale um, very intense and, and I don't mean that in a bad way it's more like man whoo it's hot in the oven it's hot in the kitchen Ah, I can't keep my, my hands off of you, that, that kind of energy. And um, you're a lot to handle. And I'm not saying you're like high maintenance or anything like that, but you, there's a lot of power you possess in your looks, in your up sexual appeal, your sex appeal. Um, like one look at you and people feel, you know, they feel hot under the collar. Um, yeah, you get people excited, for sure. You have a lot of power about you when it comes to how you hold yourself, your appearance, but not only that, like, how confident you are. And if you don't think you're confident, you don't have to, that's all right, you don't have to think that you're confident, but those who are looking at you, those who are in your energy, thinks that you're, like, this freaking confident being. This confident, uh, brave exciting, fiery, hot ball, hot ball of fire. Yeah, very passionate. And I think that people can take you in small increments. I think it's very overwhelming and not, not in a bad way, but it's kind of like, I can't concentrate when you're around me. <laughs> I, can't, I can't contain myself. I can't control myself when I'm around you, pal. One, that's the, I feel like those are the words your person's saying or the people are saying about you. You're just like, so like, um, you're intense, like I said. You're fiery. You're like a freaking 
feisty little mama or handsome, hot, adventurous, daredevilish kind of guy. You get the high energy. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So you have the manifestation. So it's, I don't know, like if you have a, a way with your words. You know, you say something and people are like, sure, what do you want? I got you. You know, if you say jump, they're like, hi, how high? Hi, let me know. And he's jumping over the mountain. How hi, hi, let me know because I, I, I got you. Whatever you want, I, I got you. So recuperation, like I said, I feel like they can only take you in small increments because they can easily feel swept off their feet or swept away or carried away in your energy so much that they forget their priorities. They forget, you know, to do what they have to do. They forget, you know, that they want to take things slow. They forget that they don't want love right away or if they don't or if they do, they don't want to go so fast. You know, they want to pace themselves. So um, they see you as someone who's very loving, very, and you know, uh, very um, welcoming and war heartwarming. Someone who just loves a lot with all their heart, well, all of your heart. Staycation with re recuperation. See, that tells me that this is someone who, you know, they're very reserved or they're introverted and they can only take you in small amounts because it's just so overwhelming. You know, like if it was up to them, they'd be locked up in the bedroom getting to know every part of your body all day long. <laughs> Or having those stimulating conversations with you all day long. But then it's like, wait, but I have a life, I have a job, I have X, Y, and Z, I have bills to pay, I have this, I have that. I need balance, I need, I need some kind of like space. So um, yeah, high energy, just a lot about you. I, I would say you're, you're like the chariot with the king of wands and the queen of wands. That energy, like all these wands inside this cup. So you got clean, detoxify, release. So detoxify with that recuperation. That's like cleansing. Like I said, not being able to take you in such large increments. If you guys do conversate, it has to be at a slow pace because it's just, it's, yeah, it's intense, you know? So much that they feel they're, you know, they feel like they want to, you know, they feel very sexual all the time with you. They feel very hot and bothered all the time with you. And it's harder to think, it's harder to function when they're always hot under the collar with you. <laughs> Recuperation, I need a break. I can't stop thinking about what I want to do with you. Ah! All right, so if you're under 18, I apologize. What are you doing watching my videos? Um, if you're over 18, I hope you don't mind this uh, sexy talk. <laughs> All right, what else makes you so attractive, so hot, pile number one? What makes you so hot, pile number one? The mystic, all right, I am spiritually wealthy, spiritual, sensitive, unconventional, transcendent, intuitive, introverted. <clears throat> oh, introverted with this recuperation and staycation. That makes a lot of sense because I was thinking that they're the type of person that likes to be very secretive and private, but maybe they like that about you. Maybe you, there's a mystery about you. Maybe, maybe it's like you're you're like this shy type or reserved type, but you're so damn sexy, and that makes them want to get to know you more. It's like something's very sick, very high priestess like. You even got the mystic here, very mysterious, forbidden even, intuitive. Yeah, that's the high priestess. Introverted. That's the hermit. Illuminating, artistic, ingenious, intense. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I was saying. Look at that intense. Imaginative, innovative, that's the, that's the um, manifestation we're talking about. That power, that creative energy. The king of wands with the queen of wands. Revolutionary, rebellious, mysterious, that's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, so this person thinks of you as someone who's just so like forbidden, mysterious, um, even quiet. They might see you as someone who's very, you know, you keep to, to yourselves sometimes. But you have a lot of, you're like a ball of fire. Even if you're, you know, reserved or you stick to yourself, you, you still have a lot of pent up energy within you. Um, am I feeling these cards? I don't think I'm feeling these cards right now. I'm gonna choose another stack because oop, those cards are all like saying, nope, I don't want you to shuffle me out. So let's see about this stuff. So pound number one, what makes you so attractive, pound number one. I hope you like this, pick a card. Let me know, this is the Colorology. The Eye Candy Oracle. If you're interested, I sell these in my Etsy shop, Etsy, eBay, and Instagram. I make decks with my husband and my daughter. 
We have 26 so far. All right, pile number one, what makes you so attractive? Bright's baby, okay. So you, illumination, okay, that's what we talked about. These two females look like, yeah, illumination. So you're like the, a bright flame of sunlight. I'm sorry, a bright frame, a bright, a bright flame, sunlight, and you, they attract, or you attract them because you, of your light, of your, your essence. So it's like, how can I not look at you, pal number one? You're freaking beautiful. You're handsome. You're gorgeous. You warrior. Okay, that's that. That's that determined fighter right there. That's the king of wands. That's the ma magician. You get what you want. Very powerful energy. That's right. That's what I'm saying. Duke of shadows. Okay, so there is a mysterious dark part to you that makes people so intrigued, so curious. What makes you so attractive? Pile number one. Let's see what's under here. Gamble. Okay, so you are very risky, just like this uh, skate skateboarder. This I'm sorry, the ski, this snowboarder, snow skier, the skier right here. Very adventurous, very daring. That chariot energy with the King of Wands, like I said. There's nothing that you won't try, very spontaneous energy, even though you ha might have a reserved side to you, very private. Um, but that makes them want to get to know you better. Because they're like, ooh, I want to see what's under the surface. I want to see what's in the shadows. I want to see, because you got light and you got shadows. So you have, you're like the high priestess. You have the lights part of you, the yin and the yang. The yin, which is the dark, and then the yang, the lights. I, I think that's how it works. The feminine is the yin, darkness, and the yang is the ma masculine light. So you, you, that's a balance inside of you. It's just very, um, you have different layers of you that people really like. Okay, I'm going to pull one more card. I'm going to use uh, our Kissed by, a, I'm sorry, Kissed by a Rose Oracle mixed in with lovely Gifted Souls Love on the Brain Oracles. I love to use her decks. Love to support my friend's creations. Pile number one, what makes you so beautiful, so attractive? Sometimes I think about what it would be like to lose you, and it's the worst feeling in the world. So th this this person finds you to be very uh, contagious. Like your energy is so contagious, it's so mesmerizing, it's hypnotizing, and like a moth to a flame, they can't imagine your light and their your light without. I'm sorry, they can't imagine a life without your light. They can't imagine what life would be like without your essence, because you're just so. Magnetic, you're you're mesmerizing, you're fun, you're mysterious, you're beautiful, you're handsome, whatever however, whatever resonating gender you are, you're just amazing. Hot bag of chips. I'm done with the back and forth. So you balance them. That's the scales right there. You have the light, the dark, and now you have this back and forth energy. So that's the scales. You balance them. You make them feel grounded, complete. <clears throat> What makes you so attractive? If you're interested in any of these decks, they're also below in my description box. Etsy. Spare me the lip service. All right, so I feel like you are very, like I said, you're very mysterious, very secretive, very private, very quiet, very um, reser reserved. So they, they want to know you better because you don't lead on too much. You're very um, either private with your, your life. You don't let people in unless you get to know them or unless they know you very well. Um, I'm sorry, unless you give them the opportunity to get to know you well, then you let your guard down. I'm not myself without you, see? Without you, you're, they don't know how to exist. I have my trust issues, and we are meant to be. So yeah, without you, they, they probably feel empty, or they feel probably feel like they're nothing. So I feel that's pretty much a wrap. Um, you are so beautiful. Your essence is amazing. Your light is so vibrant. You got the sun and the, and the darkness here. So you're, you're a mixture of a whole bunch of different layers. Um, and trust issues, you know, that can be with anything. Like maybe they're, they feel like they can open up to you. Maybe you're very trustworthy. Maybe they are very trustworthy and you feel like you can let, guard, let your guard down and let them in. But even, even, even if you're very secretive, this person has fun getting to know you, peeling back the layers. So that's what I have for you. Thank you for watching. If this resonates and freaking awesome, if not freaking awesome, check out my pick and card playlist. And let me know that you stop by by putting a comment below. All the decks that I use are always below. And if you want something more tailored to your energy, 
check out my personal readings over on Etsy. Everything's always in my description box. Take care. I'll see you next time. We're going to head on to pile number two. All right, pile number two, you chose this cupcake that's oozing, oozing with all this fudge here. And this is tainted. So we'll see if that even means anything for this particular pile number two, or if that's just a word that just wanted to push this image out for your pile. All right, so thank you for being here. If you're new, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post every other day. I do personal readings and I use many awesome decks here. If you're interested in any of those, there are links below. Oh my gosh, all right, so let's dive into what makes you so attractive, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. What are we gonna get into? I'm gonna use my, um, I'm gonna use a little bit of my awesome cards here. Something that is more like fluffy, fluffy and light, light on the, the energy here. So we can really dive into that co the colors you have, the color that your aura brings, you know? All right, ready? Okay, let's do this. Pile number two, what makes you so attractive? This is my Wishes Oracle mixed in with Whimsical Oracle from Mystic Star Magic and Midnight Oracle from Sharon Julian's shop. Okay, what makes you so attractive? You have purpose, you have wealth. Number two is energy only. What makes you so attractive, pile number two? Pile number two, what makes you so attractive? Peace. Confidence. Acceptance, oh, okay. So you might wanna check out, you want to you might want to check out pile number one because confidence came out a few times in my words um, in pile number one's message and you know how I do if anything repeats itself in another pile then I always try to suggest going to the pile that it came from so confidence definitely appeared in pile one all right so friends you 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 know hold on one last call. okay floats wanted to be here on the bottom of the deck happiness all right so um, I feel right now, your person or people, oh privacy, yeah check out number one, we talked about privacy a lot in pile one. Um, so funny how that comes out again and again and again. So, so who are, I don't know, people or just um, whoever you are involved with right now, just, yeah, I'm just going to say humans in general. Um, what makes you so attractive is your, yeah for one, your confidence. <sighs> your warm heart, your positive demeanor, your humble attitude, your light heart, your big heart. There's a darkness to you as well. I'm not sure if you know that. Um, I'm not sure if you know that people pick up on, on you know, some kind of private secretive side about you. Um, I'm getting that with the privacy and the tainted card which is also what I said a few times in Pile 1. Um, there's something very, like, um, hidden. You're like the moon, by the way. You're like the moon. Very hidden truths. There are things that you don't reveal about yourself that really makes people so, like, interested and intrigued about you. So I wouldn't be surprised if you have people watching your social media or watching you from across the street or you know, trying to scratch the surface and get to know you better. Um, you come across as someone who knows what they want. You know, you know a lot. You um, are very, very fortunate. They see you as someone who is either a hard worker, someone who doesn't play games. You, you know, you're very like on the money. Like, like nope, I have my priorities. I'm not gonna mess up with. I'm not gonna mess with you because I have a lot of work to do here or I've got better things to do. So I'm not gonna spend time on this crap when this is where my energy should be. I feel like you're like very cutthroat. Why am I getting that? I don't even know why I'm getting that. That's just, that's just what's coming out. And I think it's because you've been jaded before, you've been burnt before, so you don't have time for games. You don't have time for, um, for, you know, um, nuisance, nonsense, whatever that, however you call it these days, you're very, you're just very mature, very humble. And there's, yeah, there is some kind of peaceful energy about you. 
Like, you don't need anybody. I don't need anybody. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. I got, I'm fine all by myself. I know my purpose. I know what I'm here to do. I'm very confident. I'm very bold. I'm very courageous. I'm going to do whatever I need to do. And with or without you, that's the mentality you have. Or that's what they... No, no. If you don't resonate with that, that's how they perceive you. You might not even be about that that confidence, um, headstrong energy. That, that You probably don't resonate with that, but that's how they view you. So, you know how some people are like, no, there's no way you like me because of this. Well, you can't tell, or you can't tell somebody what to like you, how to like you, what to like about you. That's just something that, you know, they find attractive and appealing about you, even though you might not agree with it. Like, you think I'm bold? You think I'm, sh I'm straight up with my words? You think I'm direct? Really? I'm far from that. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, they're thinking, like, all these beautiful things about you. Yeah, you're so direct. Yeah, you're honest. Yeah, you're confident. Yeah, you're beautiful. You have a, a, a big head. I'm sorry, a, um, a big a head, a good head on your shoulders. Yeah, you're all this and that. So this is what I like about you. And you're like, what? You think I have a, a good head on my shoulders? Say what? I think I'm all, all over the place. And yeah, they, they don't agree with that. They think of you as someone who's just so like, you don't, yeah, like I said, you, you're very, uh, either you're very professional because you have purpose and wealth. Yeah, either very profess professional or very just very, very mature for your age or very mature for the energy that you're in. I don't know. I, I don't know how that makes sense, but that's just what, what, what wants to come out. Thank you, Spirit. Now, a sentence tells me that they think of you as someone who's, you know, you're very, you have like a soft... Yeah, you're very ooey and gooey inside, but the exterior looks very fierce. You might have a resting bitch face, or you might look like you're about to beat somebody up, but then when they get to know you, you're like a soft little cuddly pug dog. You got these two dogs here, very soft, very sweet, until you're not, until someone double crosses you. <laughs> so the sweet and gooey side of you, you're very accepting, very loving, have a big heart, until, until you're not. And then it's like, okay, fly, go, go running, Go, go run for the hills because you double crossed me and I'm about to get you. It's, it's on. <laughs> so you let things, you, so once upon a time you would let words stick to you. You would let, you know, people's judgments and their negative thoughts stick to you. You know, words, sticks and stones may break my bones. And you used to believe that. Yeah, the sticks and stones may break my bones. You're right. But then eventually over time you learned that you know, you, you shouldn't care what people think or say or, or do about you. You should just let those words float off your back. Let the let those words just ooze out. Let the shadows come out. Let the negativity, negative words come out. You could care less what people think or say because they're not you. And that brings you happiness. That brings you purpose, fulfillment. Because you're here to live your life. You're not here to please anybody. And that's what makes you guarded, jaded, and very um, selective with who you let into your circle. And they like that about you because you're very protective. You're very, um, but you're very peaceful. You're like, you're not, I don't think you're, I don't think you're very cutthroat about things. You're, you're not like a bitch about things or you don't give people a hard time. You're very peaceful, peace, peaceful and chill until you're not. <laughs> until they give you a reason not to be trusted or, you know, until, yeah, they give you a reason to put your guard up again. Um, but, you know, even saying all that, they, they find you to be very um, charismatic and sweet. You're my strong rock. I'm weak without you. That's what I'm saying. You, you're, very, you're very sweet until you're not. Like Fort Knox right here. Six sticks and stones, right? And now, now we have the rock here. You're my strong rock. So you are very, look, the confident card here, the lion, strong lion. That Leo, that strong, confident, courageous, bold, don't mess with me lion, because I'll bite your head off. Yep, you're my strong rock. That's right, strong, strength, and rock, hard rock, Fort Knox. So you, like I said, you used to be this, this, um, this person, you know, you know, where you would let anybody step all over you, and then eventually you got to a place where you're like, you know what, I don't give a crap about you, you, and you, and this is who I am, and take it or leave it. And so you might be that person that people lean on, lean on, depend on. 
And they like that about you. They might not have a strong bone, a backbone, but you do. Because you've been through a lot. Would you have told me the truth if I hadn't found out? So you're very honest. Like I said, you're very direct. You're very, um... I would say you are cutthroat, but you're not a cutthroat in a hasty way. You might be like, I don't care about you, you and you, but I don't think you're cursing people out when you say that. <laughs> I think you, you're, you're up here, or, um, your actions speak louder than your words in this instance. I don't know if you're passive aggressive where you might say things, but you mean other things and you're really not trying to say things, but you really are with your words. You're like, oh no, I wouldn't let the door hit you on the way out. Meanwhile, that's what you're saying. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. You best to be out of here. <laughs> like you might, you might be very passive aggressive with your words. Maybe because you don't want to come across like a mean bitch, but you, because you're trying to be peaceful, you're trying to be respectful. But meanwhile, your passive aggressiveness is is getting the job done. <laughs> so um, anyway, you're very truthful with your words, even though it might be hard to um, con confront people with your words. You know. You're confident, but you probably don't like confrontation. You're my only chance at true love. So you got truth here and you have truth here again. So true, true. So you're very honest with who you are and your intentions. That's what people really admire about you. This is my Kissed by a Rose deck. This is a brand new baby. I'm still trying to get the hang of the name. Still new. And this is lovely um, Gifted Souls Love on the Brain Oracle if you're interested. I'll have her link down below. She's my friend. What else makes you so attractive? I finally see you. You are stunning. That's right. I have my trust issues. So you have truth, trust, I mean true, trust, and true. I'm sorry, true, where is it? Truth, true, and trust. So something about truth and honesty. That is what you are. You lay it on the line. You say, you say what you feel. You, you say your peace. All right, so this is what I'm getting for you. Let me pull out some more cards. Um, so Tainted tells me that you could be very bitter, like, you know, like, um, because of what you went through, you're, you're not so, you're still a warm, cuddly dog, but you still don't let people get over on you anymore because you, 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 I don't know, you, you, you know better. You, you know better. Um, Let's see, let's see. I want to see what these cards have to say. I, I feel this conflicting, conflicting energies. It's like you're a soft teddy bear, but then on the exterior, you have this, like the pug, the pug's face. You see this dog face too? Like, oh my gosh, don't mess with that dog. He's about to bite your head. You're about to, you're, he's about to steal your bone when you're not looking. Ah! So you have like two different layers about you. You have the soft and sweet side, and then you have that crunchy, salty, um, burnt side that's very crispy, but it's very complimentary. All of those elements are complimentary. And that's, you know, that makes people find you to be very different and interesting. Okay, what makes you so attractive? Power number two. Thunder and lightning. See, power came out in power number one, so check out one. Thunder and lightning, so look at that. Wow, there's a storm brewing inside of you. Like I said, you're sweet until you're not, until someone crosses you. So you have a nice clear sky and then that's it. When you're heated, when you're, when you're pissed off, watch out. You don't wanna get struck by lightning or pile number two. What makes you so attractive, pile number two. Fire, spontaneity. There you go, that fire, that, f oh boy, that came on power one big time. Caution, yeah, don't mess with me. I've been through it. I've been through it. You can't fool me. You can't persuade me. You can't control me. Nope, no, 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 no. Don't try it, don't try it. And you have the death card transformation, yeah. The end, internal cycle begins here. So, um, you, yeah, you might be going through this probably makes more sense. You might be going through something and that's why you're like, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear excuses. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to do that. Just keep it moving. You, Like I said, you don't need anybody. Didn't I say that? I don't need anybody. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. I think that's where you're coming, you're coming to that point. 
where you're just tired of people's, you know, excuses and shenanigans. You just, you're better off by yourself. But little do you know that there are people who, you know, they'll, they'll rock with you. They'll F with you. They, they're, they're all about that energy. They're about that because they can resonate. You got a lot of fire, lightning here. So illumination, again, check out part one. So now we have four cards that tells me that you should check out part one. All right, so that's what I have for you. If you, re if you resonated with any of these um, messages, let me know. I do have personal readings, and my decks are always below. This is the Wishes Oracle, and you have the Eye Candy, and this is a Kiss by a Rose, and you have Love on the Brain, and you have um, Whimsical Oracle. All of my friends' decks are linked below as well. Take care. I'll see you next time, and let me know that you stopped by. We're going to head on to part number three. All right, part number three, you chose Mineral. Trust, Sincerity, and Depth. Thank you for being here. If you're new, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on a beat I post every other day. Let me know how you found my video if you haven't subscribed before. Love to love, love to know. Um, I want to say thank you for the interaction, for the um, awesome comments. And for those of you who are buying our decks, I appreciate you. We're getting a whole um, plethora of orders. I thank you, thank you, thank you so, so very much. Uh, for those of you who are welcoming our decks into your world. And thank you for welcoming my readings into your world. I really, really do appreciate the fact that you can uh, understand my energy and like my readings. I really do appreciate those who, um, you know, spend time watching my videos. So I thank you. All right, so let's get into this pile number three. Pile number three is energy only. What makes you so attractive, pile number three only? Pound number three, what makes pound number three so attractive? Pound number three makes you so attractive. Skulled. What makes you so attractive? Spider Woman. What makes you so attractive, pound number three? Gula. Sophia. Bottom of the deck, we have Aphrodite, romantic love. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I'm getting that Empress energy big time. Okay. So you have the future, co-creation, healing, divine wisdom, and romantic love. You have a lot of fours, by the way. Breaking down to two. You got that two right here, two, two. So you got three fours, you got 46, 48, 47, and then you have um, two eights here. Okay. So, um, okay, so, okay, so people, what people find attractive about you is your, your, okay, I'm going to tell you to check out pile number two. Because you have trust there and trust, truth, and true came out th like three or four times in pile number two. And now it's here, trust. And that's how I do things. If I ever see re repetitive cards, I always, you know, give suggestions to go to the other piles. So your people or whoever you're in, in contact with or whoever you're involved with, I f feels that you are someone who's just very transparent and authentic. Um, very easygoing, very loving, very nurturing, and abundant. Abundance. Your energy is very abundant. Um, and what I mean by that is there's a lot of you. A lot. No, what I'm saying is there's a lot of, there's a lot of light within you. And these two cards go together beautifully, don't they? Yeah, depth, depth, there's a, there's a lot. So when you think of depth, you think like deep, deep water. So deep, so there's a lot of you. There's a lot of emotions in you. There's a lot of love, a big heart, uh, intense energy. Um, there's nothing very tippy-toe about you. You're just very like in your face, bold, cour courageous, strong, um, abundant person. You're, you're just like a bag of surprises, you know, just so many beautiful elements inside of you. You know, where you can, you're good, at, you're, you're great in the friendship department, you're great in the listening, 
to people, rants and rave department. You're great at being a lover, uh, you know, good at, I don't know if, you're, if people see, see you to be someone who's very good in the bedroom as well. <laughs> you're very good at being a nurturer, a parent's figure. You're very good at being a, a, a friend, a daughter, a, a sister, a brother, a father, whatever. So this, you know, you're, you're very like um, multi, uh, diamond, no. You're good at multi multitasking in different departments. And there's a lot of you. There's a lot of, it's like, there's so many things about you that people can't see not liking. Oh, you got 46, 48, 18. There's, there's a lot of things about you that is, it's like, yep, I like you for this, but oh my gosh, I like you for this. Um, you're, you have dominating energy, and I also see uh, some kind of in, intuitive, psychic, empathic energy about you as well. With the future card here, divine wisdom, and this, uh, this all, the, all this water action here. So, you know, just think of the Queen of Cups energy and High Priestess. Because she there's a lot of depth to her as well. Very secretive. You got this um, romantic love. This is reminding me of the freaking Empress. Oh, look at that. You got Illusion. Yep, I'm getting that... that, that um, that moon queen of cups energy you know so there's a lot to you there's a lot to you that makes people want to know more or just they want to be engulfed in you and wrapped in you and they want to be like consumed by you you know like just imagining having a deep conversation with someone and then you know a week goes by and you're like man i would love to have that conversation again that felt like fuel to my fire that felt like home you feel like home to people Oh my gosh, I feel very warm in my heart right now. Very, very um, nurturing. Like you welcome people with open arms. And that came out in pot number two as well, that openness. All right, so let's see what else makes you your beautiful self. Let's see. Pile number, hold on, pile number two. Observe limitations, spirit messages, okay. So you could be very good at your words, or very good with your words. You're very, very a uh, spiritual person, very psychic, like I said. You listen to the divine, you listen to your highest self, you connect with source, you connect with spirits, perhaps. Your ancestors, very spiritual person, spiritually driven. Cosmic ancestors, that's what I just said. Didn't I just, didn't I just say that or did I think it? Your ancestors, your spirit, the divine, higher self. You got ancestors right here. Voice your concerns. So you can be very good with your words, like I said. Okay. What makes you so attractive? Pow number three. Healer, move forward with an open mind. Nice, you got healing twice. So your energy is very like appealing, magnetic, attractive, um, like a moth to a flame, you have a very beautiful light about you. Awakened spirit, desire to change. Oh, that's that's interesting because I was just thinking of the rebirth energy. Like th some kind of change you went through that made you this way. Whether you were hurt in the past or you just, you're, I don't know, entering another phase in your life. Like you're having a midlife crisis or something like that. Or a spiritual life crisis. A spiritual life, no, a spiritual crisis, you know, awakening. And now you you're stepping more into your higher self, you're where you're supposed to be. Your ascended self, sorry. Desire to change, your awakened spirit. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Clear and activate, create sacred space. You got creative twice. Co-creation and create, created space. So you can be like the empress energy, you know, that abundant growth, nurture, growing, nurturing, um, beautiful, there you go. I was going to say evolving energy, growing energy, and now it's here. A spiritual evolution. So you're going through some kind of transformation, and that is what's making you so beautiful. That's what's making you so attractive. You're like in your, your, your prime right now, your highest light. Like your ascended light. You're right where you need to be, and people are noticing. Okay, what else do I want to... Um, let's see. I'm going to use my Kissed by a Rose Oracle to see what other people find attractive about you. So all the decks are always linked below. This is my Colorology Oracle. This is my, uh, oh, what is this doing here? Um, Flaming Hot Love. This is my um, this is my friend's Gifted Souls Love on the Brain Oracle. 
And this is my Kissed by Rose Oracle. I have everyone's links down below. Etsy, eBay, and Instagram shops where you can find my decks. And this is from Gift of Souls shop. I'll have her link below as well. Alright, what makes you so attractive, con number three? I feel safer reflecting in silence. Okay, so feeling safe in your arms. And you know silence, you, and I, we just talked about words. Be very good for, with your words. It could be that you're picking up on people's cues and you don't need words to understand what they're going through. You can just go with their body language or just feeling the energy. So you, you could be very good at uh, reading energy well. Look at all these colors, look at that. Set your heart free. You, got, you have the heart card here, romantic love. Um, evolution, that's the empress energy coming through. There's a lot of blues here, a lot of water. So very emotional you could be as well. We do have that love here. So you can be very emo emo emotionally um, matured. The queen of cups with that king of cups energy. Oh, Meeting you was the best thing that has ever happened to me. So yeah, they people feel very lucky to have met you. It's like you, you're a breath of fresh air. I'm not myself without you. Oh boy, see? Magnetic, magnetic, magnetic attraction. They can't get enough of your energy. I tattooed your name so you're with me everywhere. That's probably how they feel. Even when you're not together, they're thinking about you. They feel your presence. Your presence is so contagious, so, so big. There's a lot of you. Like I said, your light is so, so freaking powerful and bright. I am proud of you. I wish we knew how to communicate better. That's what I'm saying. You don't even need to communicate. You feel people. You, you, you are tuned in. You know what people are thinking, what they're feeling. You know it. You're like the Empress and the High Priestess together. And the Queen of Cups and the Moon. Um, let me see what other cards do I want to... Since I talk about lights, I'm going to use my Angel Hearts deck mixed in with my Teddy Bear Wisdom and Winter's Embrace Oracles. All for sale. My Etsy, eBay, and Instagram. Links are below. Tell me more about this heavenly energy. Why do people feel so attracted to your light? Why? Pile number three. Adaptability. So you can adapt to any surroundings. You can... Uh, camouflage to any surrounding. You can mesh in, transmute the energy as well. So you probably are like a chameleon. If you, I don't know, let's say you, you, you have a group of friends that talk a certain way. You can adapt to how they communicate. If you are, you know, in the professional field, you can adapt to that energy. And that's what makes you so, like, flowy. That's what makes you flow from energy to energy. You can adapt to certain surroundings. And that's very beautiful. That's very, um, that's a good quality to have. You're not like, it's not, you're very easy to be around. You're very easy. You, it's like a flowing water, like flowing ocean. You can adapt to any surrounding. You're very accepting, understanding, not non-judgmental. And if you don't believe in all that, if you don't think this is how you resonate, well, that's okay because these are things that people admire and see you, perceive about you. So you probably don't even agree with any of this. You probably don't think that you're grand or beautiful or handsome, but other people think of you this way. Slow and steady. Your angels are preparing you for an, a moment of peace that is on the way. Be still, be present. So something very calming about you. See more water. And you got number two again. I just said breaking down to number two. When we first started this reading, so I don't know, two, feeling very balanced in your energy, feeling like they can come together with you, um, like two of cups energy, you know, two of water, a lot of water here, feeling like they found their match within you. That energy, I'm telling you, that energy is freaking amazing. That attitude is freaking amazing. Okay, last one, comfort. That energy, see, adapt. They can, they feel like they can be around you, because you're adaptable. You're changeable. You're accommodating. You're welcoming. You have a big heart. You're loving. You're nurturing. The ascended masters. Oh, I just said ascended. Like you, your higher self, your ascended version of yourself. The ascended masters are supporting and assisting you. Proceed with confidence, dignity, and affirmation. Confidence came out in pond number two if you're interested. And you got a lot more water, a lot more blues. Look at all this blue stuff here. Look, more blue. Look at that. Look at that. Stand up for yourself. Yeah, you're very good at that. 
truth. All my stars. All my stars. So check out number two. Number two, I just said it when we first started this reading. Truth came out three or four times in pound number two. Oh, that's why number two is here. You want to check out pound number two. And you got all this blue energy. So trust, truth, all this blue energy. So there's something very emotional about you, very flowing, very loving, very caring, very uh, attentive about you, very nurturing. A lot of freaking blues. Let me tell you, friend. A lot of freaking blues. Look at all these blues. All right, that's what I have for you. If blue is your number, you have number two, you have blue, you have truth. All right, that's, that's how I'm, I'm going to end this. No more rhyming. No more rhyming. Look, more blue. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this resonates. And all the decks I use are down below. Teddy Bear Wisdom, Angel Hearts. I, I'm sorry, uh, Colorology. Winter's Embrace, Kissed by a Rose. And all my friends' decks are always linked below. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.